Oh, how's it going? Bottle Ned here in suburbia. So we have a pit we've probed out. It's a 19th century outhouse and we're gonna do a little technical dig here. So here's the house that we have a privy probed out for underneath the concrete. And we have, the coolest thing is, we have a picture from the 1870s that shows this house and it shows the privy we're gonna dig behind the house in the early picture. Beautiful day. Good morning. Good morning. There's the concrete. And there's Bob. Yours truly. I take my hat off, but you know. You wouldn't look as good. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> There's the pit, it's underneath this slab on the back line of this property. That's as close as I can get. Got the saw. So and that's as close as we can get to the And then when I'm cutting this building. Way, I'm Wait, a, you're not cutting that way. Over there I am. I'm cutting this way, Bob. I'm gonna have to if I don't cut all the way into this part. What? No, you're not gonna okay. There's a curb right there. So what right I'm saying there. is if my saw is gonna have to stop here, but this part's not going to be cut all the way through. Well, look, you can hang on a minute. You can you can run your blade. Up oh down. yeah, you can yeah, run yeah. your blade. Up I'm going to run it on this one. But yeah. you might you might jam up there because there's a thick ass curb right here, isn't there? For the side of the cul culvert, there's a lot of concrete. Well, so what? He's going to bury it as much as he can and get it. What, what, so what are we doing? Are we going? That's your Get method. as much as you can. <laughs> bury it as much as you can. Get as much as you can. Which let the saw idle. <laughs> Demo Bob. Oh. Pound that slab. This guy's amazing. Ugh. I don't want to hit that mud. Pretty good for a 62 year old. <laughs> yeah, that, that 62, right? 62? Oh. 54, baby. 70. <laughs> I think you got it. We out. Got ourselves a thick splash. Oops. You gonna hit that lip? That's gonna get tough right there. Or do you want me to? That's big enough to dig it, but then on the patch it's gonna look weird. Yeah, I, you want the patch to be good. Wow, there we go. Oh. Not the mud. Protect the camera. Oh, <laughs> good. Yeah. No, we're gonna get it. You undermine it. You I think undermine, undermine it. Something. It's really thick, Bob. Look at that. That's not a good thing because we need to replace the thickness. No, that's what I mean. We have to remove that. We have a bunch of rocks up in there. Yeah, we're going to have to replace that thickness with something. And not concrete either. It also could have been... This just know, came off the top. It could have been a knoll here. And the grade was higher. Bowling yeah. pin milk you know from about else? 1910, 1915. Area, we can just replace it with that. Point Pedro Dairy. Hmm. Yeah. Wherever the hell that's from. Now everybody's scared it's a 1915 trash pit instead of a 19th century outhouse. Yeah. For this house, that's the, actually the original house. Mmm. Flat roof. 18, what is it, an 1872 house? Something like that? 74. 74. Careful, man. There could be more milks, you know, you know, you know. If you're lucky, it's at least that deep. Yeah. It's like getting to the point where it could be old. Try not to undermine. 
find out. That's cold. <laughs> it is moist though, look at that. That is moisture. We got some groundwater, high water table in this area. It's like a spring underground. Mmm. Charcoal. Mm. There's lots of charcoal. Mm. There's pre layer. Pre cone. Nothing like some pre cone. Hey man. Where's the modified Lou? Pico, you know, you know. Oh, rocks. Rocks. Fucking rocks. I know. Geologist. Get out of here. Stupid rock. Oh! Not not all rocks. Shaving mug. Salt the hole. it again. Out. That's out. A nice separation. Yeah. yeah, it's just a little four foot box. It's a bobby. It's four foot bobby. So that side is a clean clay and that side's the outhouse. It's still going down. Nice. Just gotta take out the, the virgin part. Still going. Yeah, there's the separation of the outhouse and the clean dirt. Right. Definitely in pit. Right there. Clean dirt, pit. Yeah, look at that. Hanger. It's a it's coat hanger. You know, one of those. Oh yeah. Hang your hat, Bob. Hang one of those in Mary's. All you have to do right? is take it off. You guys dug a lot of those in Marysville, Bob? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot around here. A lot of, co a lot of coat hangers. Got those hat right. hangers. That's a good article. Yeah. You could write a 10 page report on that. Yeah. A little, this is what you call a Marysville Mini. Yeah. They're bigger downtown, but this is more like the outskirts residential. Juice right there. Nice juice. Layer. This lady really wanted that. That's powder pack. Wow, look at that. Ash from the stove, baby. Well, Andrew's excited. It's, fine. it's, it's finally happy. Don't over pro. All it took was a legitimate 70s outhouse. Oh, we don't even really know what age is down there. But... Where is the beast? Oh, I got something right here. Oh. Right downtown. Yeah. I know it's here. It's a morning, morning button. button. That's the fuck. Oh, I saw a Victorian morning button. God, and then right I lost it. Mini, man. Stupid. You're moving to Texas? You might be. Texas or, um... You heard of Anna? That was strange. Strap side flask. Okay, Strap why don't you open flask. the flask? Well, let me get this out then. Roth and Co. Mm -hmm. Hope it's older. Yeah. yeah I Maybe wish it was know. newer and it would be a Roth. Yeah. Fuck. It's probably just a slick, but you never yeah, know. Yeah, slick dicks. Ah, it's going to be a tight, tight quarters. So, are you trying to tell me there's no. Sided yeah, there are. There are. It's a Roth, but it's newer. That's what I meant, the Roth, but the but it's is. newer than this whole to me it probably. Looks like a slick. You never know. This whole could be. We don't really know. On you the could bottom. have a throwback, right? A, a newer throwback on top. Okay, it's either a Jesse Cutter. <laughs> Around here would be a shoulder crown, huh? Oh, yeah. I, don't, I think it's a slick. It's too bad it has a. Oh, a stra oh yeah, the, the uh, E. Martins have a strap. Yeah. Well, that's my point. A lot of straps are lost, but. 
I'm just so used to finding the unembossed ones. Well, yeah. This town... It's kind of like the women, you know. Oh yeah, it looks like an unembossed. It's like a slick. It's too, too small to be in Yeah. Class. Too small. Ooh, a nice color though. Yeah, it looks all of the and crude. Look at that top. That drip. That's cool. Nice drip. At least you know what you got. Yeah. At least you know nice all of Kind of yellowy you know. olive with the... Wow, monster top. It Look at that drip. Zoom in on that. Okay. Monster top, dude. All right, good age. That's all you need. Ah, uh, Bob the, backlight. Huh? This huh. icing on the cake. Huh. Open your mouth. Oh, eat it, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> nice color on that. That's really nice uh, Western a flask with a really nice top and a greenish color. Yeah, country, you don't get that early 1880s, late 1870s. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ah. <laughs> Woo. Historical bullet. Some uh, wild boar hunting, anyone? Okay, Ned, here's your trivia. What Winchester. caliber is that? Oh, ooh, oh, I like this. Ask a man that knows. Ah, <laughs> buck hunting ask, Bob. Ask actually shot <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, not a metrosexual like me, <laughs> raised by liberal arts parents. <laughs> if, if, they if taught you, me how to draw animals, <laughs> if you not know, shoot them. <laughs> if you want to know, ask him. <laughs> okay, all right, real man. Um, well, let me see. Uh, Winchester, well, the, no, you, I don't know, I mean, like, I, I buy the no, 223 the shells the for the, the caliber, 223, uh, shit, I don't know, it, it, it that's, like a, it that's, like a, okay, what? It looks so. like a 45. That line is really not fully explored. <sighs> I know. <laughs> at all. Pharmacy bottle, 1880s. How'd that get all the way up here? Yeah, that's, that's a far trip from <laughs> San Francisco. I Long stagecoach ride. Well, uh, it's funny, a, a, a druggist guy and his name is Coffin. So I'm going to get some medicine made by a guy named Coffin. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. I think I saw some marbles on the dirt pile over here. Little marbles. I think I hear round three coming here. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Plain ceramic marbles. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice you know castor oil, blue castor oil. Pretty cool. Nice, 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 nice. This is going to be a wonderful gift to the owners of us did. Yeah. They had something. Here's a, this is a big marble hole here, a lot of marbles. Uh, check out this one. It's got some paint on it. German China marbles. Good designs on that one. These are like 1870s, 1880s. German China. Bobby Brickhole. What do you got? Looks like a Cala. No. A Cala Bon Zest? Oh, it's not. Uh, Western jar, though. A rare jar. <laughs> nice applied ringer. Beautiful. Early 1880s, late 70s jar. Jar, 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 jar. jar. Thing Aqua. Aqua, aqua is aqua is a color. Yeah, but don't be racist. It's, it's, it's a, it's, <laughs> I'm colorblind. Color. <laughs> oh, I've got to be careful of the mullet. Uh, uh, stupid champagne. Uh, 1880 champagne. The recap is these guys did a very successful dig, and we all satisfied our curiosity as to what was here. And that's priceless because a lot of times you spend a whole life wondering what's down here and not being able to do it. So. And what's your cut if Ned gets more than like 30 views online and he starts making millions? I need at least 10%. 10%. All right. <laughs> Done with the hole and now we're trying to get this piece of concrete crap out of the way so we can do the pour, you know? Got to make it thick. Got to make it thick good. That's true blue. Adding some water into it to uh, facilitate compaction, simulate a rainy season. Get some of this dirt back. We're probably gonna have extra. We're gonna have to take away somewhere. Well, I'd rather take away the concrete than the dirt. Yeah. Don't let the water get too much higher. Turn the water off for now. We might get 
like the bucket. Bob. Bob just loves that hose. Just loves spraying everything. This Freaking hose, this hose causing big. Niagara Falls over here. That's cool. Freaking. <laughs> The Russian River. What kind of culvert system is this? <laughs> there it goes. Ay, ay, ay. It's kind of a weird drainage setup. Uh. All you need for a good concrete pour is a little bit of water and a lot of good music. <laughs> Old Screeton Bob. Flunka, flunka. Mmm. What a little wet. I don't know, Bob. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'd say like decent execution, but I don't know about the actual ingredients. Concrete sandy one, like it. Concrete sandy. <laughs> so, yeah. how, how do you feel about your, your accomplishment here, your work? Let me stand up straight and tell you. <clears throat> Good. Watch this. Oh, what? I have to now. I'm so curious. What? What is this Bobby bootleg? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, so hard. Like, is he going to dust it? He's dusting it. I think you have to wait before you lock. Like an hour before you Not break. the whole thing. Not the whole thing. Just one area. I don't know. Bob's so confident. I trust Just everything he's doing right, right now. It's too like soon right to broom it, though. Just right in here. Right in here. Sprinkle the fairy dust. Oh. Oh. Gee, it's too wet. Oh. It's fine. It's gonna dry. Oh. It's just a concrete. <laughs> it's a low spot right now. Now we have to hang out until it dries. <laughs> what, if, what if we just? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's a weird little spot. What? What? Are you, what, what, what in the hell? I thought you were gonna like evenly. <laughs> no, because it was. What a weirdo! Not, it was, there was a wet, there was a I changed my mind. You there suck. Was a <laughs> The trophy of the day, a beautiful western flask. Ooh, the cleanliness of the glass, the crudity, the texture. Mmm. Ah, oh, so much better than having a girlfriend.